Hey guys, Will here, and I'd like to bring to you a question that I don't really have the answer for straight off, but I think it's a pretty darn good question. So a friend of mine is researching this, and uh, you know we're looking for he's looking for some things to. Um, is there anything in our records that could help us with the shape and the size and the distance? And he's looking at this, um, what this is. You can see here, this picture is the course or the course of a sailboat race called the Vendy Globe. And it's marketed as an around the world race and as you see it leaves Spain uh, Spain and uh, I'm not sure which way it comes down it might go east first uh, but then it comes right back up now the Vindy globe is I mean you know and that's a single person doing this right so very very It's a very tough race. And if you look when it uh, first started, the inaugural back in 1990, 89-90, it took anywhere from 110 to 160 days. So about three to four months. And the question is, what does this tell us about the size of the earth or the root does it give us any clues on maybe it's the round model maybe it's the flat model and the reason that we're questioning this is that seemingly on a round model there would be less distance to travel where On a flat model, the area is expanded and there's much more to sail if you're going around. Okay. So we posed a question and we said, you know, well, how are we going to measure this? How big is the flat earth model? And I had a hesitation because we're told, here's the size of the Earth. And the Earth is about uh, 8,000 miles in diameter. Okay. Well, that's the size of the round Earth. Is the flat Earth the same? Is it still the same 8,000 miles in diameter? I don't know. I mean, there's no way to measure the size of the Earth. And then, what's past the ice wall? I mean, something so large and so vague, how do you get that number? Where does... Where in the round Earth, how do they get the diameter of the Earth? Oh, it's math, and it's this and that. Okay, point of reference, um, well, we use our maps, or I don't know what they're going to say, but even maps are inaccurate, especially closer that you get to the poles. So, here are some, this is the Vindy Globe, right? Let me just close that out. Now, this is interesting. I do not think... Uh, I'm not sure this guy's right. But is it a possibility? And he's saying... Maybe they don't really... Like, they do some kind of circle back here and head back up. Maybe they don't really traverse the rest of this entire way. Is that possible? I don't think so. 
I do not think this is possible simply because of the course that they would have to plot um, to go around. Let me see if I can find the other picture of what. Uh, So here is the go around the whole globe. Now, you can see this is not an entire globe around the world sail. No, that's a lot. This is an around the pole sail. This is not, I mean, just, just listen to how they round the world single-handed yacht race. Single-handed, non-stop, round-the-world race. Okay, I mean... Yeah, we go around the world. But you don't go around the whole world. I mean, I'm walking around my city. I'm walking around the world. Because I'm walking around on the world. Now, this is not a circumnavigation i mean it is a polar circumnavigation but there's a big difference guys we are talking about huge differences in terminology so why is this called around the world huh interesting is there a possibility i i have not studied this i just found this rick potvin's uh projection his theory he, he's got a couple different theories here right he's got a couple different theories and I really haven't studied them but are there several different theories you know there, there's there's not just one possibility there never is just one possibility but science generally tells you it's just one possibility and they tells you that possibility is fact Unfortunately, science doesn't tell you that the possibility that they're telling you is most oftentimes, most oftentimes opinion given as fact. So let's delve into this a little further. Okay, yeah, this is uh, vindyglobe.org and some data. So here are some distance covered and the real speed. Okay. So this was a speed over the entire time. So this guy covers 28,000 miles at 14 knots. Well, the Earth is only 8,000 miles across. So 28,000 miles, that doesn't really, like 8,000 miles is from here to here. Okay. Um and just just looking at this this seems to be about this distance. So we could say that's 8 going and 8 coming back. That's 16,000 miles. Where did this guy get 12 extra 1000 miles from this around the globe sailing? Huh. Okay. Interesting question. So, and I mean, it's anywhere from 25,000 to 28,000, but still, that's a big, that's, that's a lot of miles. Okay. Now, so, question is, flat earth, what is the distance? Let, let's just say, okay. Let's say they sailed around this way, and, and we are, we're going to ignore the possibility of another route and doing a circle like that other guy, like that Rick guy said. Okay, we're not going to factor that in. We're just going to think, what if they did an entire flat earth circumnavigation? Okay, because this... This is not an around-the-world travel. If they did this and went, or went around Antarctica on the flat Earth, 
like this, that would be an around the world race. Hey, look at that. So what they're saying this race is, around the world race, that definition only holds true on the flat earth model. But is it possible with the miles traveled? So what is the distance here? Okay, what is the distance of the flat earth? And very simply, I realized, okay, well, it's probably circumference of a circle, right? So circumference, as you see, it's 2 times pi times r, and r is the radius. Okay, well, if the diameter of the Earth is 8,000 miles, then R is 4,000 miles. Statute miles, not nautical miles, right? Um, 2 times pi, 3.1415, blah, 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 times 4,000. Let's see what this is. I'm going to pull up my calculator here, guys. One second. Calculator. 2 times 3.14 times 4,000. Roughly 25,000. So 25,000 miles. Now, we must also look at uh, the Vendee Globe here. So if 25,000 miles, let's just, uh, we're just going to approximate this, right? If, uh, let's say at the top here, if that is my zero point, if that's the center, and this is my full uh, circumference point here, then this, look, this is about half, that's about a quarter, so that's about 80%, 80 okay? Um, uh, you know, I... I haven't done this calculation. Let's just say 80%. Uh, because they are, you have to understand, on this, on this flat model, if they're only going around here, then they're only really going around 80% of the circumference. So what is 80% times 25,000? Times 0.8. 20,000. So we think that maybe this flat circumnavigation is about 20,000 miles. Okay. Well, then if you're adding you're adding that together and you've got about 8,000 extra miles in there, that gives you just about enough because if okay so if all of this everything from this point and below all around Antarctica we're counting this is this is the circumnavigation so this could be 20,000 miles possibly even less yeah we're using approximates right Is it possible these jaunts right here are about 3,000, 2,500, 4,000 miles? Eh. Well, let's see. They're giving us some. Uh, they're giving us some clues here. Let's go. Less, less sables to only. Um, Let's see if we can figure this out, right? I'm, I'm, uh, less sables. Uh, D only to go island distance. All right. Let's see if let's see if Google can help us with this. 
9,000 kilometers, okay? Uh, kilometers to miles. Uh, so, that distance is just about 5,500. 5,500 miles from here to here. So, this amount of the trip is 1,100 miles? Eh, I mean, eh, is it possible? If we're looking at 1,100 miles and... So remember, we're looking at probably about 20,000 miles for the circumnavigation. And this is approximately, right? Plus, what was it, 1,100 miles? 1,000 miles? No, 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 10,000. 11,000 miles for um, the legs. So that's approximately 31,000 miles, okay? Approximately 31,000 miles, and we've got a total miles of 28,300. Okay, that is pretty darn close. Um, now, that's pretty darn close for approximating the possible distance of the possible distance of um, excuse me the, the possible distance of the circumnavigation on the flat earth model so Here's another interesting thing. That same guy, Rick, the one who's uh, saying that this right here is uh, not... He was saying that this was inaccurate and that uh, he was giving some other options for it. What he did is he looked at the uh, nautical miles flying around the Antarctic coast. And... Um, but yeah, this is basically just geometry here. Um, so he's looking at... This is... It's a total of about 8,100 nautical miles, right? And 8,100 is like... Eighty one hundred is uh, about ninety five hundred um, actual miles. The difference is is that that's just around Antarctic here. As you see, they are probably a good deal further than that great deal further than that um if this is eight thousand then it's going to be well if you look here the radius the radius of this going from here to here it's almost double so if it's almost double then we go back to back to this um circumference the circumference of the circle if we double r so that's times two so two times two times three so 12 times i mean literally when you double the radius it's 12 times more uh, is that possible well that's what the math says that it's 12 times more. So, 
then the question is, how far is this route around the Antarctic? You know, that seems like a massively huge route for, oh, look, we just flew around the Antarctic, but we flew the entire diameter of the Earth. Hello? Doesn't seem right. For something that small? That's the diameter of the Earth? Really? And that's not even this route. We're not even talking about this route, which is going to be more than double that size. We're just talking about this. How is that the diameter of the Earth? Maybe his numbers are wrong. Maybe my approximations are wrong. But then also, maybe the consensus of science and what they've said about this and about the model is incorrect. It, it, it's very uh, it's very coincidental that these things are just too large to measure that we don't have these solidified with our technology looking at the numbers I do not have a solid conclusion based on that. I, I, I can't say that the numbers from the race point to either round or flat because they're pretty darn close. Meaning you could almost circumnavigate the flat earth model in the miles that they do the polar circumnavigation. Well, that's pretty crappy. Just look at the size of Antarctic on this map based on that other map that they saw um, let's see if we can bring it up uh, look at how small Antarctic is there well just look at the map here so you're going to tell me and, and don't forget, I'm saying there is inaccuracies on maps and scales. Especially when you get closer to the pole. So is there room for deception? Oh, I mean, look at that map. Sure, they say, well, this is a Mer Mercatio or a Mercado or whatever, Mercadian or whatever. But... It was the distances that I just calculated here that kind of mm -hmm. point me to that the flat circumnavigation is a possibility. It's their own terminology calling this an around-the-world race. That's not an around-the-world race, but why are they calling it that? Huh, interesting. So, guys... I hope you look for yourselves. I hope you find out and, uh, you know, do your own research. Let me know what you think the total distance is. Let me know what you think some possibilities are. I'm not saying one is fact over the other. We just don't have that information. I'm saying that these two are so close to each other that it's possible. I definitely think it's possible, and I think it's possible mathematically. So guys, love you guys. Search for yourself. Uncover the truth. Let me know what you find, and let me know if I'm wrong. Appreciate it.